completely gone. Alright, this is a hand warmer. I already hit start, but it'll be alright. So, uh, oh, we have the Ike coming out from Random Guy for the hand warmer. I don't know if he's doing the top player thing and warming up someone else and switching in someone else. But, uh, we'll, we'll see. Also, Random Guy just coming off of melee. So, I'll, I'll give him a good 45 seconds to get reacquainted with Smash 4. I'm also very upset. Like, I'm, I'm playing like trash today. I lost against Random Guy when I had a super solid lead, and then I lost a close, close game in game two just because of bad DI. But, like, I. Like, I had a pretty solid lead in that game two. And then I bodied Jawsin because he went Gandorf against me game three, and I'm just like, alright, I'm just gonna game Q three times. Also, I didn't change this to Winter Semis, so that means the last game was labeled as Winter Semis, and that's wrong. All right, so uh, again, we have the Charizard coming out, so uh, random guy doing the top player thing. All right, so game two, or game two, game one. Now this is a matchup we actually haven't seen in a while. I feel like random guy's actually been drilling the uh, the Gandorf a lot more, but playing heavies against Sonic is is never fun unless, of course, it's like. Bowser or DK, where you actually have like guaranteed kill, com kill confirms that you can ever get your hands on CC. Uh, I don't believe Charizard has any of those, and uh, things definitely not looking like they're going around guys right now. Oh, lovely. I'm on your side of the bracket, Jinta. I'm going to get bodied by you later. Yeah. But, uh, random guy at already 150%. CC is dead. That's, uh, that, that was legit. Like, uh, I don't know if, if any of that's true or not, but that puts random guy in a really good position. Like, CC having to play behind against a rage Charizard, he's going to be having to go in a little bit more than he normally does. Oh, and random guy just calling him out on some of his aerial options, hitting him with the rock smash. Oh, oh dear. Not what you want to see <laughs> from Charizard at all. The Flare Blitz into Suicide. Uh, Random Guy definitely sh shaking his head in dis disapproval. He's like, nah, man. Not what I wanted. So, CC immediately back in this game to do that. Random Guy trying to wall out CC with the Flamethrower. Not quite really accomplishing it, but, I mean, uh, random guy's getting in more hits than he's taking, or, or, I mean, he was, until that happened, but, so, how many jumps does Charizard have? I know he doesn't have five like Kirby, but he has more than two, I think he has three, that's, that's such a weird number. <laughs> So I don't think Flamethrower can ever actually interact with Sonic's uh, uh, when he's up being to the ledge because he's invincible the entire time he's moving up. And then when he grabs the ledge, he's got his invincibility. And then the way uh, Charizard or Random Guy spaced himself right there, like it wasn't hitting the ledge at all. And good DI, not gonna die. I'm just gonna flare blitz. Oh, and Knife takes game one. Is this right? This is right. All right, so, well, Battlefield and Dreamland are on the same band now, so yeah, if if you ban that, he can't go to either of those, which is what happened in our set. CC was like, oh, Chris will probably go to a triplat, and then I went to Town and City because I didn't have a choice. But we see CC going here to Town and City, so Blast Zone's a little bit smaller on top, but other than that, and by smaller on top, I mean there are platforms there that you can interact with a little bit more. But other than that, I believe Blast Zone's actually the exact same as Town City. But right now, CC, it takes an early lead, but we saw how well that worked out for him last game. This would actually be a very interesting uh, turn of events if it ended up being Random Guy versus Bakuda in Winners Finals as opposed to, you know, Middle Georgia Special. But CC working his hardest to try and not make that happen. He is taking a grand total of 0%. Yeah. So, that's... That's actually pretty free. Uh, if you ever flare blitz into someone's shield, it takes you forever, uh, and you're in 
I think you're. I think it's tumble. It might be something else. But as you saw, CC just dabbed him once and reset him and charged a forward smash. Didn't quite kill. But CC has already dealt over 150%, and he has not taken a single, and goes for his pivot grab, doesn't quite get it, but gets a grab eventually, and back throw definitely going to close it out. Um, that is probably the longest zero to death I've ever seen. It took a whole minute for it, to be, for it to happen, and CC is trying to do it all over again. All right, so Ryan gonna finally get some damage on CC, but I mean this is a, a Charizard, and Rage is definitely a thing. And we saw, I mean, Ryan gonna take game one, so it's not completely outlandish to think that he might take another one. He's finally getting his hits in it. I mean, that's a Rage Charizard, and Sonics sometimes have a bit of trouble killing. Oh dear, and CC suicides. He's definitely not happy with himself right now. Back throw, not gonna kill. Definitely no Rage. And Flare Blitz is high, so he doesn't end up uh, hitting the shield or something silly like that. So he's, he doesn't get punished for it. CC trying to catch the approach. Jinta, you, you want to come commentate with me? <laughs> I mean, uh, you play the winner of my match, which I'm waiting for Fax Machine and Project Angel. All right, so uh, CC ties it up. So I'm, I'm gonna steal Jin to switch. Yeah. <laughs> that that's the mic. You know, the one that actually has a mic on it. All right. So getting into game three, CC taking a moment to compose himself. I guess. All right. So Jin to peace. Hopping on the mic. How you been, Jin to? Been a while since I seen you. Been all right. All yeah. right. Enjoying your break so far. Yeah, the spring break is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh. Great, great spring weather out there right now, right? Uh, yeah, you I mean, talking about that 40 degrees, windy. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably uh, colder now. So. Not my favorite. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think this is interesting that random guys uh even with CC right now. I with, mean, with the Charizard. With the Charizard is the interesting, interesting part. I mean, yeah. we've seen them go fairly even before. Like, Naif, he's never beaten CC in a set, but he's definitely taken him game oh, yeah, five for multiple sure. times. Yeah, with Ganondorf, yeah. DDD. But now he's doing with Charizard. Yeah. No, I, I feel like Charizard is actually one of his better options to do with that he does it fairly consistently with. Right. Yeah. But we haven't seen the Charizard in forever, so I guess Ryan Guy has actually been labbing a little bit. Um, Shoutouts to Fusion making posts. All right. So. We got the. um. Actually, what is that? Does anyone know what Charizard's neutral beat called? I'm sure it's like a Pokemon move. Ooh, that just, jab just block. Just Flamethrower? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. He, he does the flamethrower. Yeah. That seems like a really good thing to throw out in neutral. And then uh, forward B is the third blitz, and I'm assuming he hit CC shield and then got jab blocked for it. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Does that happen often with this character? Yeah. Anytime you hit hit the shield, you go into tumble, and CC, especially being a Sonic, can always just get in there and throw a jab. Dang. Yeah. And uh, at higher percents, it can, like it's a jab lock, so it confirms into uh, forward smashes and stuff like that. So is this looking similar to that zero to death you were talking about a second ago? Yeah, looking very similar, actually. Uh, a little bit more damage on this point than there was last time, but this is still Sonic, so it might be uh, like another. Ooh, minute yeah, long an edge guard death. might. Okay, one more edge guard. If he gets that forward smash. Oh, oh wow, dang. he actually gimps him with this. Ooh, okay. Oh, almost makes it back. Yeah. I like the idea, <laughs> but dang. If he attacked it, that would have been hype. What stage did Random Guy beat CC on? Smashville. The same stage? Yeah. So. My God. Okay, th this yeah. is adaption at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think, uh, I think CC killed himself the first game. Okay. Or something. Something. Ha no, actually, Ram no, guy just outplayed him. Yeah. Yeah, it was a second yeah. game he has to Yeah. So, but I mean, CC definitely not not having any of these shenanigans right now. I just remember it being a lot closer than this game one. CC's yeah. just turning it around. Dude. I think CC was just kind of under uh, underestimating the Charizard. Yeah, most likely. Because we haven't seen it in a long time. Looks like he's turning up the jets. And uh, Ram guy looks like he's throwing turn on the flamethrower. I wonder when um, CC's across the stage in the uh, spin dash, spin dash charge, what a uh, random guy needs to do in order to get in. I mean, <laughs> there's really not a lot he can do. Yeah. Like he's, he's just getting juggled right now, man. Yeah. Feels bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a very interesting turn of events. Yeah. Bouncing off the stage into the spring. <laughs> and that's it. Yep, and wow. that'll definitely be it. So it will be uh, Middle Georgia special number one. CC versus Bakuda up next.